Yeah, so we started with uh, some track and field and then we had some cricket. It's time to talk football on the Sportsbank Zone. Mount Pleasant Academy, yeah, the first and only Jamaica Premier League champions from the parish of St. Anne are one step away from successfully defending their rare nephew title as they gear up to face Cavalier in Sunday's final. Now, since being founded in 2018, the organization has made significant strides as a professional club. Their aim is to, among other things, become the leading force in Caribbean football. They took an important step on that journey by qualifying for the CONCACAF Caribbean Cup. Now, their senior success is important, but they've also focused on the development of their academy players. Incidentally, Devontae Campbell, who scored a match-winning brace in their second leg semi-final against Waterhouse on Sunday, is from their first batch of academy graduates. Yeah, and recently, their under-17s took on Trinidad and Tobago, Trinidad and Tobago's national under-17 team, and came away with a 1-0 win. Mm, three of the players who impressed in that match, Jamari Nolan, Earl Dennis, and Owen Jump, join us on set. Young gentlemen, first of all, I hope you're doing well. I want to start um, by allowing each of you to introduce yourselves to the people of the Caribbean and, well, indeed, the world watching on the Sports Mag Zone. Let's start with Mr. Dennis. Yeah, well, my name is Earl Dennis. I'm central defender for the Mount Pleasant team. Mm. 16 years old. 16 years old. Yeah. My name is Owen Jump. I play central defensive midfield or centre mid. I'm 15 years old. Mm. Hello everyone. My name is Jamari Nolan. I play attacking midfield for Mount Pleasant. I'm 14 years old. Yeah, 14 years old. Um, and wow, you're the youngest. It, I, I, it didn't look that way when you all walked in. You look a lot more imposing than your older brothers. Um, but let me start with the recent series against the Trinidad and Tobago under-17 team because, first of all, you were all part of the Jamaica setup, the under-17 setup, and then part of the Mount Pleasant setup that took on the Trinis in the, on that tour. Um, let me start with you, Earl, and talk to me about what that experience was like for you. Yeah, it was a great experience. Um, we played them already in an international friendly mm -hmm. um, with the national team also. Um, it was a great experience playing Trinidad and Tomigo. Um, different level of football, the intensity was higher, a mm. lot higher. So yeah, it was a great experience. Yeah. Jump? Um, for me, it's always good to play against international opponents. Um, it takes more to play against an international team, but overall it's always good to play people outside of Jamaica to see where we are at. Yeah, yeah. It was a great experience to play for my club and a country against Trinidad. It was very different than here in Jamaica. Trinidad play a lot faster and their intensity is very high. Did that surprise you? Not really. Our coaches told us about it already, so we were prepared for it. Yeah. Talk to me about the differences, if there are any at all, um, because I found it quite interesting that, first of all, you were part of the National Under-17 setup, and then you were part of the Mount Pleasant setup that took on the same team. Um, what were the differences or similarities um, with playing for Mount Pleasant against Trinidad Under-17 as opposed to playing for Jamaica against Trinidad and Tobago Under-17s? Well, um, playing with Mount Pleasant, um, we have gel. Yeah. The Mount Pleasant team have gel, so we know each other. And so going out there to play against Trinidad, we know what each other can do. So just go out there and play. Playing for the national team, we don't really gel as much. Yeah. But we play with each other in the under-15s. So we just go out there and do what we can do. And the result came. Yeah. Um, for me, um, I think at Mount Pleasant, there's more freedom to play. Mm. So back at Mount Pleasant, coaches are more free on how to play. But at the national team, it's more structured, so you have to play an exact role in the national team. Does the freedom come from the fact that you are able to work together and train together more, um, whereas with the national setup, you have 
a limited time. So the coaches maybe want to have that structure to ensure um, that there's a, a particular system that the team utilizes. Yeah, I think the freedom comes from that and also the, tr the trust that the coach have in you. Mm -hmm. So I think for the national team, the coach does see you for a long period of time. So the trust hasn't developed as yet, but in the moment place and where we are 24 7, I think the coaches trust and know what you can do. So there is more freedom there. That sounds like a more enjoyable football game playing for Mount Pleasant. <laughs> <laughs> um, talk to me about your experience in was, terms of the differences and similarities. It was a very good experience. The difference, as Owen said, it was very different. The national team played more structured mm -hmm. and the Mount Pleasant team is more free because the coach trusted us. Yeah. But the national team, the coach only knows us for like two weeks yeah. or less. But we go there and did what we can do and get a victory. Yeah, and Nolan, you scored um, for the Jamaica team. Um, of course, two matches against the, the Trinidad and Tobago team, and uh, you split those, and you scored. Talk to me about that. It was very nice to know I didn't play, I didn't score in the U15, but in my first friendly for the U17 team, I scored a winning goal for the national team. Yeah, talk to us, talk to us about the goal. <laughs> Um, the goal, it was very good. It was a long ball from the centre back, yeah. and I saw, I saw the keeper coming and just popped it over his head. Mm, sounds neat. <laughs> <laughs> and 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 then um, jump. You scored um, for Mount Pleasant. I don't understand why are you not scoring for the national team, young man. No, I scored for the national team on the under 50s when they went to Chiba. Yeah, but. For Mount Pleasant, it was a penalty, and I'm the penalty kicker. So it was as we got the penalty, it was always in my mind to go and score it. Yeah, talk to me about life at Mount Pleasant because we've learned about Mount Pleasant as an institution that is attempting to raise the level um, of what we know academies to be in the region um, and to provide the type of level and the type of atmosphere that you would be more accustomed to in Europe um, and higher levels of this football game. So talk to me about what your experience has been and if what everything that Mount Pleasant tells us that is happening down there in St. Anne is really happening based on your experiences. Yeah, um, life at Mount Pleasant is very fun. Yeah, wow. Yeah, fun. Um, who would want to be there as a young football player right now. Um, train, eat, sleep, go to school. Oh, wow. Yeah, life at Mount Pleasant is very fun. Yeah, John, talk me through what a, a day looks like um, at the academy. Um, first of all, I think Mount Pleasant is very unique mm. overall in Jamaica and in the Caribbean. So a day, as a student at Mount Pleasant, like training at six, then shower, school, from around eight to two, and then Back in the back on the field at four. Yeah, and, and what are the different training sessions working on particularly? Um, take me th through some of that. So, um, for example, at a six o'clock training, it might be a more tactical session, mm -hmm. and in the afternoon session, it's more free. Yeah. Where you express yourself to see what you learn from the tactical session, and there are also gym sessions sometime in the morning and the afternoon. Yeah. What's the ultimate goal for you guys, Nolan? Let me start with you. At Mount Pleasant, or overall? Overall. For me, it's to make it in life as a professional footballer, make my family proud, Mount Pleasant, that I'm from four years now, and be very good in life. Yeah. Um, for me, it's very personal. Um, for the school I was at when I was at the primary level, mm -hmm. it holds a close place in my heart. So I've always wanted to show students from at primary school. That Which primary school is that? Bethel Primary and Junior in Hanover. So it's always want to show youths in that school that there's always a way in Jamaica, not like there's not always the bad way to go. So I think I want to become a good citizen of Jamaica as well and a professional footballer. Yeah, that's an amazing answer. I want to get an understanding of how you even got to Mount Pleasant in the first place. Um, it was playing from a primary school in, in the in-sports final in St. Anne, mm -hmm. and there were scouts from Mount Pleasant and they saw what I can give to their, their institution and they said, come, let's get him in. Yeah, Earl, what's the ultimate goal yeah, for you? To become a very good role model for the ones um, after me. Um, yeah. They can look up to me and say, one day I want to be like Earl. 
So yeah, I, of course, I want to become a professional footballer. Wow, yeah. I love it. Do they coach you to say these things at Mount Pleasant? Because this is this is rather impressive um, and and really really good answers about where you want to go. Um, by the way, I'm pretty sure you're going to be at the Jamaica Premier League final this yeah. Sunday. Cavalier taking on your Mount Pleasant. Quickly before we go, a quick comment from you guys about what you like about the Mount Pleasant Premier League team and how they play. Um, for me, um, I like how they play. Like They're not only rushing it, they're past patient. Mm -hmm. So I like how they're patient with their play. Um, their build-up is very good, and I like that. But I think for Sunday game, we'll see a double for Mount Pleasant. I re repeat. Yeah. <laughs> Sounding confident. Yeah. How about you, Nolan? Are you that confident? For sure. For me, the U17, us yeah. play the same as the Cena team. Yeah. Patient, don't rush it. When they get our chance, we finish. Very excellent team. Yeah. Yeah, Mount Pleasant have a very special way of playing. Mm. Uh, we is unique. Keep the ball. That's what we love to do. Keep yeah. the ball. Be patient. Don't really rush the game. And yeah, of course, we take our chances when we get them. So, yeah. Is that the city style? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely not the Arsenal style because you're winning. All right, gentlemen, it's been an absolute pleasure having you guys. And um, we really wish you all the best with Mount Pleasant and um, in your individual endeavours. Thank you very much for joining us. Thanks. Thanks. Yeah, three very bright young men and three fine footballers as well representing Mount Pleasant and Jamaica at the youth level. We wish them all the very best. Let's take a break. We'll be back with more after this.